Do you ever feel like you have this enormous list of things that have to be done, but also you have this big task or assignment weighing on your mind and you're feeling guilty for not focusing on it? Do you feel constantly torn, always asking yourself, do I do the one million tasks or do I settle in and focus on the big task? Every time you sit down to focus on that task, though, you just find your attention scattered. You struggle to remain focused on the task, even though you know you need to get it done. Now, I can teach you all the skills and techniques in the world to help you refocus on that task. However, sometimes to create the space in our minds to focus on those important activities means we need to get some of the ducks lined up, so to say. We need to create a little mental space. I recently experienced this myself. You may know if you follow me that I've been on a bit of a journey of restructuring my company and splitting it into two businesses. Deconstructing a business means that sometimes some stuff is in one business, some things in the other business, and until everything gets put in its right place and it's all moved where it needs to be, it never feels done, right? Yes. Growing this business so I can help as many people as I should is my number one focus. That is my driving force. Yes, but that lack of the ducks being lined up can sometimes be such a point of distraction that my focus was just being split and finding it, I was just finding it so difficult to remain on track with what I knew were the important tasks. Now, before you go running off and go, Louise said I can just do all those little tiny annoying tasks. I use a criteria before I decide that refocusing on that big important task is a no-win situation. For now, okay? Just for now. So I ask myself four questions. Have I attempted to refocus myself first using my three-set refocus plan? Is not doing this task causing me anxiety? And am I so distracted that I can't focus on the required task for a prolonged period of time, not just a once off, like I didn't just have one go and I couldn't do it. And am I sure that I don't think I want or need to do those other tasks because I'm procrastinating or resisting what I know that I need to do? And sometimes that might take a little bit of journaling and self-reflection to be sure that that's not what actually is going on. Now, this has to be an honest assessment. Otherwise, you just end up sabotaging and continuing your procrastination, and then you end up no better off. So if I can answer yes to all four of those questions, then I decide to give myself a capped time period so that I can do all of those things, the top priority things that are weighing on me, not everything on my to-do list, just the top priority things before I go back Go, go back to refocusing on that big task or project, right? This gives me a little bit of mental relief to get on with things and be more productive, right? Because when I'm stuck in that shoulda, coulda, woulda, I'm not being productive. So could this work for you right now? Give it a go.